According to Nursing Times magazine, one in four nurses have admitted to offering more drugs to dying patients to speed up the death process. And two out of three want euthanasia to be legalized. Canadian nurse Christina Hodges was once included in the smaller 25 percent of this statistic. She explained in a conference hosted in Rome by Provita Onlus that these actions were a normal part of her daily routine. When I became director of nursing in a long-term care home, um, the doctor would provide us with orders, palliative care orders. For example, um, 0.5 to 2 milligrams of morphine per hour or uh, suspend food and water. Um, so even if they are not yet dying, they would be by dehydration. One day, Hodgetts realized that her care to her patients was not respectful and loving care, but an assisted death or euthanasia being carried out by doctors or nurses around her, including herself. It happened on Ash Wednesday, four years ago, and um, I, yeah, it was, it was the most soul wrenching thing I have ever discovered in my life. I was, oh my gosh, I'm killing people. However, the following day at work when she refused to comply with the do not resuscitate request and death by dehydration, she was fired. Now she works as the vice president of the Canadian Euthanasia Prevention Coalition, fighting for every life, just as she recently fought for her own. Christina suffered a stroke and was in a coma a year and a half after her revelation, and she understands her life could have been taken by the nurses caring for her. Life is not for us, society and the state alone. It is where one must help the sick. We must let them know that they are important for what they are at the moment and for the message they can give others. This is the message this conference is hoping to send through Christina's testimony and the organization Provita Onlus, which exists to defend lives at every stage, including those of immigrants, the elderly, the sanctity of marriage, and helping families in difficulty.